Bishop and Rothman's two minute drill. Today at 245. Today at 245. Sports Radio 97.1 The Fan. Back on Bishop and Rothman. Carpenter in for Rothman all week. Joined now by a great friend of Mr. Carpenter, great friend of the program, Anthony Schlegel, former Buckeye linebacker. Schlegs, you're in charge of, of, of making sure these dudes lift a lot of weight and do it at a very high level. And I want to get into all of that. But first, can you tell me the most radio-appropriate Bobby Carpenter story? <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Is uh, the answer no? I got to think. I got to think. Well, you know, I'll just give you on a daily basis. We got <laughs> old Robbie over there, R-O-B-B-B-I-I. Um, <laughs> You know, I, I, I got a good one. We're on the Buckeye Cruise. We're on the Buckeye Cruise just trying to raise some money for cancer, trying to fight this disease. And, uh, you know, Courtney, his, his beautiful wife, who's pregnant, she's there. She's like, you're not taking your shirt off. I'm like, I'm not going to make him take his shirt off, Court. I promise. And I get up on stage, and, you know, we're feeling the flow, trying to raise some money. And I'm like, Bob, get up here. And Bob's just like, sorry, babe. And, Takes his shirt off. Sorry, and babe. Get out there, start hugging on people, trying to raise some money. Sorry, babe. Hey, you know, it's for a good cause. It's for a good cause, Bo. What are you going to say? It is for a good cause. Schlegs, I, I want to hit one thing that you always do or that you've done in that cruise before is um, you offer up these hunts um, down in Texas. Do I have that right? Where And the, 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 you take the people hunting. Uh, that just seems like an like an ex- absurdly exhilarating uh, type of a thing that you could get to do. Um, when did you get into that? Where did your passion from that start? And, and how much fun do you have taking people down there who maybe haven't done it before? You know, I, I started when I was 15 years old. And uh, the guy who owned the gym that I trained at was like, hey, let's go hog hunt. He had some dogs behind the gym. And we just took him to the woods, out in the woods in Texas and dropped him off and there's wild pigs out there, so then we just ran after them and we, you know, we kill them with a knife and use all the meat to feed the homeless. Wait a second. And, uh, wait. Wait a second. Uh, yeah. you, a couple of things. <laughs> that were, back. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> you, you don't. There, there's no. There's no. Uh, there's no uh, gun involved. This is hands. Hand to hand combat. Yeah, you can't take a gun. I've never shot one. I've well, what do you mean you can't take a gun? Hand. You can take a gun, right? You just choose not no, to. I mean. You could, but it gets it's it, it's so fast and close. Uh, you could you could hurt some. You know. Wow. I'm not gonna take people along when I don't understand. You know their skill of using a weapon properly, and there's dogs around, and you know there, there's you're just not gonna have issues. So avoid it by you know making sure that you run really good dogs. Everything is taken care of. Everybody's safe, and you do it in a very controlled manner. And I, I like the last part about making sure you get, you're giving the, the the meat to the homeless. That's great. Oh yeah, I mean we um, when I was back home. It was we did it once every three weeks, and it was you know it was a great opportunity to go out and, and witness the people and serve them food and, and get kids and Dallas training involved. But uh, it was also you know it was a good excuse for me to say, hey Steph, I got to go kill some pigs. We got an outreach coming up, or I got to go catch some catfish. And uh, so it was a it's a good excuse to get out of the house, too. All right, Slice, so let's fast forward to right now. Spring ball ends. You've got the whole summer. It's really you and the strength staff that are in charge of preparing these guys for training camp coming up. Huge task, big expectations this year. You know, what are you telling the guys? What's the schedule like? How are you able to motivate them through the summer to keep them hungry and ready? And you know, maybe what are some of the catchphrases you're using for training camp? <laughs> I love your juice, Bob, because that was like five questions in one. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know, right now we're we're at a time called discretionary, which there there is no discretionary. It's it's not mandatory to be great, and uh, if you want to be the best at this level uh, and be the caliber of players that we expect at Ohio State, you need to work. You need to work hard on your craft. Uh, something we say all the time is perfect your craft. Coach Meyer says the chase, which is um, basically everything that is involved in your position, what it takes for you to be a, become a better football player, is available for our student athletes 24 7 there's instruction on how to do specific drills everything that they need to be the best is at their disposal then you come into the weight room and you know we're there mainly for safety purposes right now that's it's not mandatory they do not have to show up 
But, again, if you want to go win a national championship, if you want to win a Big Ten title, if you want to be a football team that is remembered at The Ohio State University, uh, it is expected of you to do so. And I, I know Bob and I, we, we loved May because it was May was an opportunity to get healthy and get big, you know, and lift some weights. So, so we're in there doing that. So we motivate them based upon where they are in their position group. Hey, if you're a backup, come in and get this work. And it's a, it's a little bit more – they choose their times. They come in when they want to, but they still get fantastic work. Uh, I try to be the best player they can be. Talking so, to Pearl. Catch phrases. Is, is that okay? Yeah, no, you're no, killing okay. it. Go I ahead. Got, I got catch phrases out of, coming out of the yin-yang here, but, but yeah. <laughs> Talking with former Buckeye Anthony Schlegel on the Ohio State strength staff. Um, can you talk to me about Mickey Marotti? That dude, I mean, he just – I don't hardly know him at all. He's just like this drill sergeant, it seems, from my perspective, from the media side of things. But I, I, that dude just seems – the guys seem to respond to him. What has been the difference with him coming on the staff? You know, I think, I think Mick automatically brings just a, a sense of accountability, uh, an ownership of what he's doing and why he's doing it, and that it's the only way. And when you're like that as a leader, people work, will buy in. You know, I remember there's that line in, in, in Braveheart where William Wallace, he's telling all the nobles he's going to go invade England, and they start questioning him. He's talking to Robert the Bruce. He's like, if you just lead him, he'd follow you, you know. And, and uh, mix that kind of guy, man. People follow him, and our guys respond to him. And uh, he owes everybody a kind of what it's fun to work for him. I mean, he's, he's an old-school mentality which is which is right up my alley. I mean, doing wall sits and lifting weights, you know, hardcore with loud music and a lot of juice, you know, that's you're like, oh, that's for you know these crazy meatball gyms. But it's not. It's the, it's the atmosphere. It's the the attitude and intensity of which you train that breeds great results. And that's what he brings all the time. And that's what he expects from his from his staff. And uh, it's a great environment to become the best college football players in America. We're with Anthony Schlegel here, assistant strength coach at The Ohio State University. Anthony, a quick question about some of your peers there on the staff. You've been at Ohio State now as a player and a coach, You've seen all the great coaches come through there and guys leave. This is one of the best staffs that I've ever personally witnessed, watching those guys work day in and day out. Do you think any of those guys at the end of the season will have the opportunity to leave? And if so, I mean, maybe which, which coaches would you say would be in front line, I guess, for maybe a head coaching job somewhere else? Oh, great question, Bob. He's bringing it, isn't he? He's coming right at you. I know. I like how you called me Anthony instead of Papa Schley. <laughs> very professional. Um, you know, really, uh, there's a ton. I mean, it's across the board. It's, it's just the football staff, it's the strength staff, and it's crazy how many uh, men are there that have those head coaching qualities. Um, I mean, you. I mean, obviously, I mean, really, I, I, now that you now got me thinking, I mean, I just saw Ed Warner in, today, uh, in the weight room today, you know, um, talking about his kids, talking about the season. I mean, just always amped up. These guys are in their grind. So, I mean, you got Ed, you got Everett Withers. You got, I mean, Luke, Stan Drayton is an unbelievable coach and uh, a guy that is very seasoned when it comes to dealing with young men. I think that's, that's something that a lot of people don't understand is that at the end of the day, this is not professional football. This is – about dealing with 18 to 22 year old young men and, and helping them grow and being able to communicate uh, with them. And I, I, I'm telling you, man, our, all of our coaches from top to bottom do a great job. And then one more. And, uh, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Just, just one more quick question here before we let you go. Uh, we know what you think every coach on the staff is phenomenal. You've made that abundantly clear here. God, but, really bringing it to the former teammate, Carpenter. No, I, I love him. He, 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 I know, what he, is going on, I mean, man. my goodness. He has passion for his guys. But something that we found out about last year on the cruise, uh, you weren't actually able to go. You know, Urban, they started this women's clinic here at Ohio State, you know, to help raise money. He's a huge cancer advocate given that uh, I believe both of his parents died of cancer. So, you know, he's trying to raise some money and get some women involved. They have a women's clinic every year. This year it's June 8th. Uh, up at the Woody Hayes Center, I think it's at 8 o'clock. Could you talk a little bit about that and what they do? Absolutely. Uh, the Women's Clinic is June 8th from 9 to 4. And basically what it is, you come in, it's, you meet and greet, uh, come up and hug the coaches, get some autographs, take some pictures. I, I'm a pretty huggable guy, so if you come up to me and want to get a hug, <laughs> you know, I'll give you a go bucks. Um, 
but you know, you, you get to mingle with the coaches. We get to talk to you about the game of football, give you some knowledge on that aspect. There will be some people there from the James, from the, the Stephanie Spielman Center, talking about cancer, talking about diet. So it's a, uh, it's something that's that's very important and um, uh, something to go to, to to seek wisdom and information. After that, we're going to take you outside. And we're going to smash your face. In. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and we're we're going to go through some football drills. We're going to teach you. Uh, some football position. We're going to warm you up just like we do the team. And uh, we're going to, at the very end, we're going to have the, the infamous Mickey Marotti smoke out where we break women up into their age groups and we make them run as fast as we possibly can. Oh and we my. pick out winners, and it's awesome. I mean, there's 83-year-old women at this deal, and everybody's out there having a good time. It's amazing. Trying to raise money for the cause. Yeah. Do you, awesome. know how, do you know how we would find out about this thing? So like, if you're looking to sign up, where would you go? Well, it's uh, actually kind of confusing because I, I had to go look it up. But you go to OhioFakeBuckeyes.com, you go to camps, and in camps you go to football camps. And there, and that's where all the information will be. And I know it's $50 for, for students. Uh, it's $75 for general admission, and it's $100 for walk-up on June 8th. Because we kind of want everybody to, to sign up in advance. But, you know, this is something that only women – get to do it's it's men men do not come in here and train at, at the woody at woody Hayes athletics athletic center and get trained by coaches only the women it's a special day for you to to get information about cancer about diet and uh and a way to experience ohio state football and leave with a great attitude and and uh, you know seeing all that what we do Schlegs, I want to put you on the spot we know who who gets it done on the football field you know and obviously weight has absolutely matters with who's getting it done on the football field but take the football side out of it give me two guys that are just weight room kings who just walk into that room on this current football team and dominate it and try and separate what they can do on the field with what they're doing in the weight room oh man that's uh that's a tough you know i'm a, uh, jack Newhart to me is just he's a weight room guy he's uh but he's also an unbelievable player and leader and that that's what was very similar to john you know, it's 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 hard to to separate the two because the mentality in the weight room, uh, for the most part, will always re- will reflect on the field. Um, okay, you got one there, Schleich. So give us give us the next. Oh man, uh, you know, a C.J. Barnett or Adam Griffin, uh, a lot of capacity for work. Uh, leaders um, work extremely extremely hard on perfecting their craft in the chase. And in the weight room, uh, you know, guys I expect big, big things from senior guys uh, understand it's their time, and uh, yeah. Well, d- well done, There's buddy. I mean, there there really is a lot. I, I know, but we you get you did three. We asked for two, you got three. That's well done. I, know. I just keep going. Well, <laughs> you take a lot of pride. You take a lot. Of, you know, the coolest thing about my job, and it was hard to see it when you're when you're when you're playing, but just watching young men transform their lives and say, hey, I'm going to go attack this. This stuff is here. It's available for me. And, and to watch them work, we're very blessed at Ohio State to have the young men that we have here. And I hope people that watch them at home understand that these young men put a ton of hours in involved. And uh, you know what, though? We, everybody should be very proud of them because they're, they're working and, and, and they're good people. They're well, we're, good people. we're very blessed to have you on the show today, buddy. Thank you so much for your time. Well, uh, we'll check in with you later on down the road, my man. Awesome. See you, see you later.